the mission of the organization and especially the scientific advisory board is to make sure that we fund the best science in the community so that we can get better drugs, we can make improvements in early detection, we can have better imaging. Let me tell you a little bit about our research program. Um, we have given it a name Community for Progress and the idea behind that is that we're trying to build not just individual investigators here, but a true community, a community that comes together on multiple locations, discusses their science, freely shares reagents and results with the single most important objective of having an impact on this disease. Over the last 10 years, we've funded millions of dollars in grants that are entirely dedicated to pancreatic cancer research. And these grants have not only funded established senior investigators, but most importantly, they've funded investigators who are early in their career. We've had a wonderful example, a track record of mentorship, where many of the established scientists, the senior scientists, have interacted with some of the junior scientists who've gotten these career development grants and, and made sure that they are making the right choices in terms of the experiments they're doing, that they stay engaged in pancreas cancer research. And again, the whole idea is to build a community. When you give a named grant in honor of someone to the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, you actually get an opportunity to see the work being done in real time. This is a golden opportunity because there is so much that we can do. And there's so much momentum, there's so much creativity that's out there. And your dollars will go a long way in terms of having an impact.